again it has been a pretty long time since I made a video on this game, or simply since we have had some actual major news and gameplay updates on it, but it's finally time to talk about something new from Truth Bang 2, an absolutely brutal mess of a game that I'm really excited for that's actually just been confirmed to release this year in 2023. I would compare this game to both Fear and Doom, it has the slow motion movements, score and dismemberment of Fear, and the fast paced action of Doom, and the developers working on this have got full control over their game and what they're putting in it. They have a publisher who's Team 17 that are giving them more founding and such, but they still have full control over what they're creating here. It's awesome to see how this game has evolved over the years, from starting as a simple small demo created to see if people like the game or not, to a massive game with tons of different missions, side quests, activities, easter eggs, different levels to explore, customizations, and so on. Once we give the support an indie game deserve, it can change everything for them. And so, let's just get right into the new details and gameplay. Now, first of all, at its core, Trepang 2 is about a mysterious group who breaks you out from a heavily guard black site. Your memories are gone, but your combat abilities are enhanced far beyond human limits. You'll have to fight back an absolute ton of enemies coming for your head, find the truth, and face a threat even deadlier than yourself. Through this mess, you'll be mastering superhuman strength and speed to knock waves of heavily armed mercenaries into next week. You'll slow down time to dodge rapid fire bullets and use cloaking to become invisible and snap your enemy's neck when they least expect it. As we speak, the developers are working on it, but the gore and brutality in this game will be upgraded to the max, so expect a lot of blood and a lot of limbs hanging around the map. So yes, Trepang 2 has been confirmed to be releasing in 2023. There is no exact release date, but they can promise it'll be this year. There's more to be made and some that are kept secret, but for now they have 5 fully fledged and upgraded campaign missions with a ton of replayability because they have made the kills extra satisfying. They have also created 6 side missions which it could be a lot more at release because they're keeping things secret again, and they have 8 different weapons each with their own firepower and brutality elements. They have collectibles waiting to be discovered on the maps as well, they have player customization starting from what you're wearing during battle to the weapon customizations with different visors, colors, and etc. Furthermore, on the topic of replay value, the developers have been working on their own new game plus, where you can customize your game to your liking with an NPC creator, change the NPC's health, its speed, reaction time, and more will come over time, so there's plenty of new stuff added in that were never even meant to be there at first, but thanks to the founding that they have, they can now create the game that they've dreamed of, and as I always say with indie games just like these, it feels great to see such games made by friends in their bedroom get so popular and get the recognition it deserves. Indie games are bringing back the heart in gaming and makes it first in line instead of money and making more money. Make sure you guys like the video right now for more on this game and subscribe to stay tuned.